Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the One Pot Wonder. We are in session five of class six, which is generally the end of our session. Um, but good news this week, we're able to extend our program for another two weeks. So, um, and that is a great big thank you to all our sponsors and to our donations that have come in. It's allowed us to um, um, have a budget so that it gave us a little bit of a surplus. So we're gonna carry on again until June 1st. Um, so, um, just before we get started, uh, a big thank you to um, the Lethbridge Foundation and Noppy Friendship Center for their additional donations to us. Um, to the Pincher Creek Food Bank, or Center, sorry, um, for their generous donations. This week they gave us our meat and some cereals, some cookies. Um, they gave us our pineapple this week. Um, and a big thank you to uh, Brockett um, for, their, for their food bank as well. They've been uh, very generous in giving us the extra support as well. And Creekside Community Church, who has continued faithfully to give us the support of their kitchen and their space. And uh, Kayla Ray behind the scenes, she's my sidekick who's on camera. And um, yeah, so great big thank you to all of you. Appreciate all the help from, from everybody. We couldn't do it without a team. So, um, so today's class, we are working on some sweet and sour meatballs um, with some rice and a side of green beans with garlic. And um, so we're gonna do it all from scratch. So in your bags, you should have some soy sauce, pineapple, some white vinegar, breadcrumbs. Um, you should have some garlic powder still from previous classes. Um, so we're gonna use that in our, a little bit of that in our meat. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And then, um, excuse me. Um, so then we're also going to um, use the garlic bulbs in the, the green beans. So um, we'll kind of show you how to do that later. Um, so we have brown sugar and we have some onions and some oil. So we're going to get started. And so to start off, uh, the first thing that we need to do is to prepare the meatballs. And then once we get those started, we're gonna put on our rice and then make our sauce because um, you need to cook, once you get your meatballs formed, then we need to kind of brown them first and then put them into the sauce to cook for about another 30 minutes. So um, we're gonna get started and we'll be right back. So in your recipes, you'll notice that um, I've given you recipes for the meat and the rice and the beans, but um, when you're doing your hamburger, uh, the recipes are only calling for a serving of four. So, you know, if you've got a bigger family, then just double your recipe up. And um, because it's, the meat isn't gonna be a meal in itself. So it's, um, when you're doubling up your recipe, it should be plenty. Um, so uh, what we need to do is, um, I have uh, two pounds, well, actually almost three pounds of meat here. Um, just because we have people behind the scene that always want to test out the demo. And um, so I'm going to triple this recipe today, so uh, just keep that in mind. And so we're going to use, um, your recipe will call for a quarter cup, but we are going to use three quarters of a cup of your breadcrumbs. <laughs> and I just want to, um, yeah, that's plenty. So we're going to put the breadcrumbs in and um, then we need to put some eggs. So we're only going to use a couple eggs in this one. In your recipe, it's only one egg for a serving of four. And, um, you know, if you're comfortable with handling meat with your hands, um, some of us are, some of us aren't, um, but you can uh, just mix this up, which I think I am going to use my hands. I've washed my hands thoroughly with soap, and um, I think we will use 
I will use my hands, but um, so you're gonna put about uh, one onion chopped into your mixture and you're going to just stir it up. So um, you can add pretty much anything that you like into your meat if you wanna add some extra seasoning in there. You certainly can. Um, today we're just using using the. Uh, we're just going to use um, a little bit of garlic, and I'm just going to free do this. It's, you don't want too too much because you don't want it all garlicky. Um, you don't even have to put garlic. You can put cheese. You can put Italian seasoning. You can put um, pretty much whatever you want in your meat for flavoring. And so we're going to just mix this up thoroughly and once that's done um, then we're going to form those into balls and um, just an FYI your breadcrumbs is, and your egg is just to help keep the meat together while you're cooking and it also it's a filler is what it is so um, just gives it a better ball form I guess <laughs> And so we're going to, I'm just gonna put these out onto my mat. And then, so as you're doing your ball formation, you could do them in small balls about the size of a golf ball. Um, some people like to do them a little bigger. Um, and I, I, for today, I'm going to do them about a golf ball size, maybe a little touch bigger and then we're going to put them into our pan and let them brown. You don't have to cook them thoroughly first because once you do your sauce up then you're going to keep your meatballs in your sauce to cook. Um, and we'll, uh, once we do our ball, meatballs here then we'll, I'll show you the sauce that we'll use. And it's all from scratch. A lot of these uh, ingredients you, you generally will have on hand. Um, if you've never made sweet and sour sauce before, you can use a variation. Um, today we are using a bit of a variation and I'm going to add some pineapple into it. You don't have to add pineapple, um, but we will today. And you can use crackers if you don't have breadcrumbs. Yes, absolutely you can. Um, Ritz crackers is real good. Ritz crackers, soda crackers, for sure. All right. So I think we've got a pretty good mixture going on here. And so if you just take about, about that size and you're just gonna roll them up into a ball. And that's a little bigger than a golf ball, isn't it? And so um, that's what we're gonna do is we're just um, just start your meat process first because it's gonna take the longest. And um, so once we get these meatballs done, then we'll move on to the sauce. And we'll be ready. Okay, so we have our meatballs ready to go into the pan. So these are a little bit bigger than a golf ball because we had a fair amount of meat, but um, anyway, just keep in mind that the larger you make your balls is um, just brown it, make sure that you're flipping it. Um, if you have a pair of tongs or just even your fork, just make sure that you're um, flipping it regularly. You don't need to put um, oil in it because the hamburger has its own oils and um, but if you are adding cheese keep in mind your cheese does have grease um, if you're using a cheddar or a cheddar a shredded um, cheese you might want to add just a few more crackers into it but you don't want to dry your meat out because then it'll just fall apart and I don't know if we're gonna have enough room for this um, so we're going to So put this onto the stove and put it on about medium heat and we're going to let this brown a little bit and um, let me check the stove. Okay, so we have the meatballs on the stove cooking and now we're going to start to do the prep for the sauce. So you're going to need brown sugar, vinegar, your soy sauce and water. 
and then you should have some pineapple as well. Um, I like to use some of the pineapple juice out of the, and, and kind of down the water a little bit. Um, and you're also, oh sorry, you're also going to need some flour. Um, I did not put flour in your bags, so hopefully you have some flour. If not, you can use cornstarch and that will also give you your thickening if you have any of that. Um, if not, it's, your sauce will just be runnier. Um, so, you know, it'll be, it, it will start to thicken because the sugar will thicken it as well. So, um, yeah, so let's get started. And we're gonna double the recipe for the sauce because we have, um, you have quite a bit of meat and you wanna have extra sauce to put over top of your rice and your meat. So, um, this one calls for a cup, the four serving calls for a cup of brown sugar, but we're gonna double that and use two cups. So you should have enough in your bag. And we're gonna put this into a pot. And the be very careful with your vinegar. It's very easy to overdo the vinegar flavor. Um, so I would start light on the vinegar side. Um, again, this calls for like a quarter cup of vinegar in your recipe, which is all that I'm gonna use in um, this double recipe. I'm not going to put a double in yet of the vinegar. So, and then we need some soy sauce. We're going to need um, some water as well. And it calls for um, one and a quarter. So I think it's one and a quarter. Hang on a second. Let me just double check. Yeah, sorry, it's one and a half. So I'm going to double that recipe as well. I am going to use cornstarch instead of flour. And your recipe for a serving of four calls for three um, tablespoons. Um, so I'm going to use a little bit more than that. If you have a whisk, that works really well if you have one of these. If you don't, um, definitely use a fork because you'll need to stir up your... I kind of did this backwards just so you know. Um, it's probably best to put your flour in with your brown sugar first before you add your liquid. Um, but I did it backwards, so... <laughs> um, that way you can just kind of add in your flour as your um, adding your water and then it doesn't get all lumpy and um, but this of course cornstarch doesn't get really lumpy at all anyway so it's, um, and as this starts to cook it will get to be more of a caramel look and then we need to add in some soy sauce and so for the soy sauce, we're gonna add in about three tablespoons. And you can also use this on your rice and wherever you want, you can put it on the meat, whatever. <laughs> and you can actually even put this in your, uh, your meatballs, um, like when, they're, when you're forming your meatballs raw, you can add a little bit of soy sauce if you don't want to use so we're going to take this and we're going to go over the stove and get this kind of simmering. And then once we have this kind of warmed up, we're going to put it on. So I'm just lightly going to flip these over. You can see what I mean by browning them. And this is, um, um Brown medium. yeah, it's on medium heat and it's been about, oh, about 10 minutes since we've had them on. And so we're just gonna flip them. Like I said, you don't have to make sure that they're really cooked because it's gonna cook in your sauce as well. Um, it, this just gives, gives it a chance to kind of brown so that your meat's gonna stay together. Uh, 
and you know like if you're doing spaghetti and meatballs or something like that same concept you can use um, you don't have to do your meatballs as big like I said earlier and um, also too in just going back to the sauce that we were doing a few minutes ago um, you might want to kind of taste your uh, outcome because like I said be very frugal with your uh, vinegar because it really overpowers it if you put too much um, if by chance you do then you can just add some more brown sugar to it and um, as I had indicated I um, I also added some of the juice from the pineapple um, that's gonna go actually in your meat with the sauce uh, once it's ready to go so we're gonna let this cook a little bit more and uh, we're gonna continue to just let our uh, sauce warm up so now that the meatballs are ready to have the sauce put on them for further cooking I'm first going to take the meatballs out because there is quite a bit of grease I don't know if you can see that or not there's quite a bit of grease in the bottom and um, you don't want to add that into your sauce and then as you look at this sauce um, I used cornstarch but you can use flour um, or cornstarch, whichever works, but you can see the thickening in it and it will be fairly dark. Now, when you see soy sauce that is more of a red sauce, that's because they use a grenadine instead of a soy sauce. Um, and the grenadine is quite sweet, so you would just cut back on your brown sugar. Um, also too, just an FYI again, uh, be very frugal with your use of your vinegar. It calls for a quarter of a cup for four servings. I would even cut that back a little bit. Um, and then you can add it in accordingly as to how you like the sweet and sour flavor. Um, I personally don't like a huge amount of vinegar, so, um, but you can just kind of, it's easier to add it in than to try to take it out. So. Um, I'm just going to take these meatballs out now and we'll, um, then I'm just going to drain off of this, uh, grease and then we're going to throw, put, we're going to throw the sauce on, <laughs> we're going to put the sauce onto the meatballs and let them cook further and then we'll get our, uh, rice going. Rice is going to take about 20 minutes and the meatballs, uh, simmering in the sauce is going to take about the same, so. We should be so we're gonna just continue to take these meatballs out we'll get the grease off and we'll be ready um, I put the pineapple into the sauce and we're gonna return the meatballs to the um, pan and you can cook this on about I would turn it just below medium you don't need to to cook them um, on high by any means. So you, remember, you're gonna simmer it. You're not gonna fry it. Um, so we're just gonna pour the sauce over top of the meatballs. And then we're just gonna give it a little bit of a stir to make sure that our meat's covered. And um, this is a double recipe of the sauce because you want it to cover your meat so that it cooks um, kind of simmer. So we're going to let that simmer for about 20 minutes and then we're going to, um, we're going to get our rice ready. So, so we're going to start up the rice and Keep in mind that the rice that you have is not minute rice. It's um, a, it's a long grain rice. And so for every cup of rice, you need two cups of water. Um, and then when you have your water in your pan, it's always recommended to add some oil. And um, I'm, I have three cups of rice to six cups of water. Um, so I um, need to add some oil to it. And the oil is to help it from not sticking because sometimes rice gets really sticky. Um, and so I always just put 
um, I don't know, I would say about a quarter cup, maybe not quite a quarter cup, uh, maybe a third. And then you definitely want to add some salt. And the salt, I don't know why, but when I lived out in the Dominican Republic, the Dominicans lived faithfully with the salt and the oil. And that was, they didn't stir it, they just covered it and left it. Um, and usually had it between around medium heat um, to let it come to a boil. And then that's how they get the formation of the, the crispy rice that gets on the bottom. So the, the oil basically um, prevents it from burning. And yeah, so we're gonna get the rice on once this water is boiled. And uh, so we're gonna add three cups of rice and then we're gonna let that cook for about 20 minutes. And um, yeah, so we'll come back when everything. So we've got the rice on and our uh, meatballs are simmering still. And so now we're gonna move on to doing our, our um, green beans with garlic. And um, normally, um, I mean, it's much better if you can get fresh green beans, if you can't, uh, which I couldn't today. Um, so you have frozen green beans, which is just as, it's fine as well. Um, so we're gonna, we're um, melting some butter and we've cut up some garlic. And uh, I don't think I'll use quite this much garlic, Kayla, <laughs> the garlic queen. <laughs> But we will, um, um, we don't want to overpower it, but mind you, some people like it, so. Um, but we'll use about three quarters of a bulb, which you will have in your bag. And we're just gonna let this garlic cook a little bit to kind of soften it up. And so then you're gonna add your green beans into that and just kind of mix it in with the, um, with the uh, garlic and butter. And then once they're cooked, then it's, uh, you could add some Parmesan cheese to it or um, just have it with the garlic and some salt and pepper as well, uh, which is what we're gonna do. We're not gonna do the Parmesan today, but it is quite yummy with that as well. And um, so we're gonna take about half of this bag and it calls for in your recipe to boil your beans, but you don't have to. You truly don't have to. Um, the beans are already cooked, and it's just that these ones are frozen. So, uh, so it's just um, a matter of, maybe we'll do a few more. It's just a matter of cooking your beans so that they're cooked. This simmer a little bit and so I have the um, the stove on a medium again and so we're just going to give that a few minutes to so our creation is ready um, cooking your beans just to make sure that because uh, as you're cooking them they're going to start to get white and that's just uh, unthawing them from being frozen um, mind you probably by the time you get your bags they might not be frozen <laughs> But uh, it uh, certainly isn't going to harm them. Um, so uh, this is ready. The meatballs and the rice are ready as well. And um, yeah, uh, looking forward to your feedback. Hoping that you guys like the recipe. And uh, stay safe. And we will see you again next week. Mm -hmm.